there's something wrong with her. She's really stressed and angry. You can tell by the eyes. You can tell by the water. I see there's water there, water there. And water there. You gotta show up ready on set. Shoot days are often the time is often limited and also if things change on the day and if things don't go to plan on the day you got to be ready and flexible enough to mold into whatever the situation is so that's my number one tip yes. you love it. Love it. this is a really cute set Rika Studios and Better.us. New homewares that Netta Porter has just sent me actually. We have this candle holder, very cute. And then also this Laweve candle. most insane gifting I've ever gotten. I literally grew up in a house of music because my dad was a music producer and he was obsessed. When I say obsessed, like he pretty much had like a Beatles giant to be sent a turntable and also like a yellow submarine record. It's pretty fucking special. Let's set this up. Slowly color coordinating my closet, and it's already making me feel so much more clear headed. Since lockdown has opened, I have just dived deep back into work. I've been shooting a lot, being back on set, catching up with friends, eating out at a restaurant for the first time in a really long time. Yeah, life has fully resumed back to craziness. Could be close to having. A burnout but I am going to prioritize my mental health first. I think the biggest thing that I've learned in lockdown is like your mental health and spending time with your loved ones and your friends. Those are the most important things. So that is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to prioritize time with my dad because I haven't seen him since the beginning of lockdown which is almost like five months which is freaking crazy come to think of it. But I hope you guys are being gentle on yourselves because I have definitely felt very overwhelmed because there's definitely a lot of chaotic energy. I am feeling like I am definitely only just keeping my head above the water. But that is going to change. I bought these glasses three years ago and I wanted to turn these into opticals. And now we're finally doing it. Actually, it feels so good to cook something. I've definitely missed like cooking new recipes as well. I think I've been pretty lazy the last few weeks, but now we're back. I'm making a promise to myself, we are back. I'm exhausted. But I have a valid reason. This weekend, we decided to drive down south and enroll ourselves in a 10K fun run. 
Nath has obviously been running a lot this year. Usually I'm on the sidelines cheering him on. I don't know, something kind of clicked in me and I was like, you know what? Like, this is actually pretty amazing. Just a whole bunch of people getting together, challenging themselves physically and mentally. And I was like, I want to be a part of this. There were so many times in the race that I wanted to give up. Before I knew it, I was at the finish line. Yes! Anyway, moral of the story is, I hope this inspires you to go do something that you normally wouldn't do. Challenge yourselves, put yourself in a situation where you never thought you could be.